Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel channel. Today we're going to do a long-tailed spaniel. This is Hazel, one of Ember's friends. And she's come here today with her nice, long, bushy tail. It needs trimming. And I'm going to show you the tools I'm going to use and how we're going to go ahead and start grooming it. So here are my tools that I'm going to use to clip this long, beautiful, long Springer's tail here. This has been quite a while since it's groomed, probably three to four months. So I'm going to use my slicker brush, my comb, steel comb, my two stripping blades, my thinning shears, and my clippers here with the 10 blade on them. So basically I'm going to give it a very similar cut to when we do a regular Springer Spaniel tail. I'm going to clean out the bum here. But I'm going to leave this nice long hair. I'm going to brush it out. I may thin it a little bit um, and I'm going to give it a nice curve to it, kind of like an Irish Setter or a Golden Retriever. So Hazel here hasn't been groomed too often, so she's a little nervous on my table. We're going to get her some cookies right now and then we'll get started on her tail. So first I'm just going to brush it out with my slicker brush a little bit here. Get her bum. We're going to clean her bum up after, but we're going to work on the tail first. Then I'll get my steel comb. Just gently pull out any extra. Her, she has a very thick undercoat in this tail. It's going to take a bit of work to get all hanging nice with some feathering, but it'll be really pretty when it's done. Okay, so next I'm going to take my clippers here. I'm just going to go upwards, take some of these extra feathering off. It's okay, Hazel. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Want a cookie? Hey, Hazel. Hazel, here. Text my assistant. Can you talk to her while I finish her tail, please? Here's a cookie for her. Here, for the cookie. Go. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Can you get over here? It's okay, Hazel. There we go. Take a teeny bit more. Oh, oh, Hazel, stay. Good girl. There we go. Okay, now we'll just brush off that excess. She's a lovely tricolor here. You can see all her pretty tricolor coming up. So I'm going to take my thinning scissors here. I'm just going to blend in some of the harsh edges here and get some of this hanging down right here. Let's take some of the thickness out on this side a little bit here. Brush, see how Mommy, we're doing. I I should never cook because she be what you do. Okay, I'll give you another cookie, Jax. Just a sec. Here you go. Thank you, my assistant, Jax. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna brush this up. It's a hard cookie to break. It's like ten. Just give it all to her, buddy. I'll give you a smaller one next time. So I'm gonna brush all the hair. You take it right down to the end here. You did. You get this part. And then I'm gonna trim yeah. just this part off on an angle, upwards angle. Yeah. Kind of make it like a triangle at the end here, one side of a triangle. And we'll fluff it out a bit. We'll take my... I think I will get my other scissors. Just a second. My shears. I wasn't going to use it, but I think I'll just use it a teeny bit. When we fluff it out, we'll just I'm gonna very gently take a teeny bit off to make it into a pretty arc here. It's okay, Hazel. Here, we're going to get another cookie. I want a foam cookie. Okay. There you go. Here. Take them. There's three. Don't give them all at once. Let's try one more time. There. We don't have these for waiters. Yeah. Waiters. Come down, They're not that tasty. They're not that tasty. She says they taste really good, ducks. I'll do just a little bit more under here. Just for it to make, help keep it clean. Mm -hmm. A little yeah. definition. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take my stripping. Just strip down to the top just a little bit because this tail is very thick. Strip down into her bum a little bit too. See, I'm getting quite a bit of fur. That's the undercoat coming out. Strip a little bit more. I think you need to brush her her head. Her head is pointing up. Hey, Jax, no more talking just for a minute, okay? I'm almost done. Just going to strip around the sides just a little bit more, make it a little bit tighter into a tail here. Good girl, I see I got some more undercoat. Try to make it 
Oh, more like a golden retriever. Hazel's her name. A little bit more like a golden retriever or a setter, where it isn't quite so long at the top here. It all kind of hangs underneath. She's a girl. Is she a girl? Shh, buddy. Is she? Yeah. I have no freeze. You don't want the freeze off my hand. <laughs> okay. Still a teeny bit. I just need to. Right here. It's just too thick for me. It's your big one, Dad. Okay. And we'll show you to you after the bath. We'll get a blow dry and we'll maybe look at it one more time after we've bathed her. And that looks pretty good. There we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I do a little bit of back combing here on her tail a little bit just to try to make it blend in a bit smoother so it's starting to look better there. I'll do a little bit more and then it'll probably be, be done. Here is Hazel all done from her groom. She's a little bit wet. I'm gonna stick a towel on to send her home. This is how you would do your field spaniel or maybe a European variety where you don't wanna shave the ears and you wanna leave them um, with the furni more furnishings and they really don't have a lot of coats. There's not a lot to do like a, a bench burner. I've shaved her neck here. I've done inside her ears so you don't get all those mats and then I've just trimmed a teeny bit on top. I will do a full groom when she's more used to the table because uh, right now there's no way I'd get a good video. But here is her pretty tail. All nice and finished. It's still a teeny bit down. I'm going to blow dry a teeny bit more but you can see it's all the clean areas are clean and then there's a beautiful fluffy tail to the end of it. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. Take care. Bye.